Hello, my name is Jan Mattes. I'm Chief Product Manager for Marketing and SAP Business by Design. And I'm now going to give you a quick demo about direct mail execution in Business by Design. So what you see here is a report, a sales order volume report, which actually depicts um, the most valuable customers which made business um, in the last few months. And uh, well, very easy. I want to create a campaign now for those customers. and. Um, uh, it is, of course, very obvious that I just simply want to see the list of those customers and then convert that to the target group of my campaign. I can do this easily with um, just a one click. I uh, export all the accounts to my new target group and then um, I get basically the basis for my campaign execution. You see, all the customers are listed here already. Some of them might be contacted uh, as they have con communication data available and they gave also contact permissions. Others might not. So that's why I can use here easily the uh, addressability check. Um, so this is the check for email address. And uh, you can see here that some of them will be marked as red, others with green based on what data is available for them. I can also maintain and add now members to my target group. Um, for, easy, for, for instance, I could, um, let's say, filter uh, for all of my A accounts, and I want to add them here as well to that target group. I click here and go, and then I get an additional list to my ex already existing list, and then I can simply add all of the customers, um, and the system will then noti not notify me if uh, some of the members have been already available in my target group. So last step would be then to return to my target group and then to uh, save that uh, new, newly created target group. And from that on, I would then create a new campaign uh, to define the email template. And that's what you will see now here in an already prepared campaign. So this is a campaign I already set up in advance. And um, most uh, interesting is um, I can add various email templates to that campaign. You see for each language, um, as I do not know the language of all of my participants in the campaign, um, I can upload a separate email template. They will all look somehow the same, but of course will be in different languages. I have uploaded here a, a version for English, German, Spanish, and French. And um, if I click now here on, on such a link, then I would see how the email template will be looking like. It's a very nice responsive email template, so it will be fitting uh, not only to your desktop, uh, but also will look great on a, a mobile phone or on a tablet. And what you see here in addition is that I added here personalization placeholders. This is for the name of the account. And I added also the campaign response code. And that might be used later on to um, uh, create response data in the system and also to receive um, personal uh, responsive and, and, and uh, personal prices here. So let me now switch back here to my campaign. Um, I can then obviously execute the campaign and with that I will be uh, getting responses. Um, those responses can easily be created in the system, let's say as a phone call activity or um, a, a lead or also a sales order. And um, I would then reference the campaign to create the, the linking between campaign and the result. Or I can also create this directly here from the campaign UI itself. So you can see I can create here follow-ups. Um, and of course, it is also possible to upload uh, data using Excel. Um, or to um, uh, upload data via web services. So if you have, let's say, a, a connected web shop and uh, the web shop uh, will then create, let's say, an order in Business by Design, um, the, the URL in the email template could provide the key of the campaign and that will then ensure that all the responses will be a link to the campaign and that you can later on measure the success here. So what you see is that we have already a couple of responses in the system. Um, so I uh, created already and uploaded already some data. I can now easily group that data, that re responses by response type. So you see um, I received a couple of emails um, and a couple of phone calls and most significant, I um, also received sales, sales orders here. Um, I could also depict this as a chart. Let's go here for that just to see the success rate a bit. 
Um, so what we see here is now a, a chart visualization of my responses. I can uh, go here and let's say for um, a column chart or a bar chart, uh, I see how many sales orders have been created, emails, and the majority of them have been the sales orders. So then um, let's maybe click on one of those sales orders that have been created um, with reference to the campaign that you get an idea how to link um, a sales order or a lead or an activity to the campaign. This is very easy. You can uh, simply um, add here the tag uh, for the referencing campaign event invitation. And this basically then um, ensures that all responses are linked to that campaign. And even more, if you have a sales order like uh, what we have here, then uh, you could also have, let's say, for the products, product specific prices, which are related and available only um, during that campaign. And uh, you see here, this is um, the list price for, uh, which is campaign specific, it's 200 euros, and that is only available um, uh, as soon the campaign, as long the campaign is running. So this is uh, basically it. Um, and uh, last would be, of course, you would be doing a campaign analysis. And um, most uh, remarkable is here that you can depict um, the success of your campaigns, not only in the number of responses, the number of emails, phone calls, or let's say uh, opportunities that have been created, but also here in the value with the value of the sales orders. And this is uh, what really counts at the end of the day. How successful was our marketing? Yeah, if we can really prove how much money has been, um, or revenue has been created due to that campaign. So this was uh, basically it. I hope you liked what you have seen and stay tuned for more videos.